and staying with Ukraine. This morning, just like so many other mornings, many Ukrainians woke up to the sound of sirens, warning the people to take cover against another Russian attack. The alert was sounded at around 7.14 a.m. local time, and within minutes, missiles began to rain across the war-torn country. The offensive started from the Mekulev region in southern Ukraine. At least two missiles were spotted flying over there. And Kiev claims that both were shot down by the Ukrainian forces. And around an hour later, over 15 cruise missiles reportedly were spotted over, over Kiev. Ukraine says it shot at least a dozen of them down. Perhaps there was the usual element of exaggeration familiar in wartime. For Kiev did report explosions across the city. Next, there were strikes in Odessa, another region in Ukraine's south. Reports say at least two energy facilities here were struck, but no injuries have been reported. And at around noon, authorities spotted Iran-made Shahid drones approaching the country's Dneputrovsk region. There were at least two of them. Ukraine says both were shot down. A couple of visuals have also emerged. Visuals like these, they are from Kiev. They show the residents taking shelter in a metro station, staring endlessly at their phones for the government updates. Information from a battlefront is rarely fast for the governments choose what to pass on to the public and the media. And that said, Ukraine has offered some figures. It says a total of 55 missiles were fired at the country and it apparently took down 47 of them. This claim begs an important question. What exactly is a missile attack? This is not a trivial query for in a war where soldiers and civilians are killed every day, nothing can be trivial. The normal interpretation is to believe that a missile attack is a flying weapon hitting a target. How are these flying weapons launched? From both the surface and the air. And today's strikes were from Tu-95 warplanes and they were not just missiles. Some of them were also drones that were carrying bombs. My point here is simple. Every time we speak of a missile attack, we tend to imagine a cruise missile directly hitting an, de directly hitting an intended target, when in reality, it is a mix of drones, bombs and unmanned aircraft that are involved in such attacks. On to the next question now. What explains these strikes? For the last one month, the war was mainly being fought on the ground. Aerial activity had subsided, if not died down. And now, all of a sudden, Russia launches a new offensive and targets various provinces. Why? Is this Russia's response to the Western decision to arm Ukraine with the most modern tanks like the American Abrams and the German Leopards? Does it have to, something to do with the delivery of the tanks to Ukraine? It certainly seems like it. Like I just told you yesterday, both US and Germany announced that they were ready to send the tanks to help Ukraine recapture territories. Germany says it aims to deliver Leopard 2 tanks by April. America says it will send the A1 Abrams tanks around the same time. Russia did not expect that this would happen. It was hoping that divisions within the NATO would stall the delivery of these tanks. But this did not happen. Both Biden and Olaf Scholz have arrived at a consensus, no matter how shaky. Russia is clearly rattled. And the strikes this morning are proof. A Kremlin statement justifies these doubts. Have a look at what it states. I'm quoting. European capitals and Washington constantly give statements that sending various types of weapons, including tanks, in no way means their involvement in hostilities. We strongly disagree with this. In Moscow, this is perceived as direct involvement in the conflict. And we see that this is growing. And that's not all. The Russian state television is also mocking the West, taking a dig at the capability of these tanks. A host of them are airing 
put down calling the German Leopard 2 tank a toothless cat and the American Abrams tank a battered machine. So clearly, the delivery of these tanks explains Russia's new offensive. The question is, how severe and sustained will this new offensive really be? Remember, winter is slowly receding. In a matter of weeks, we will be seeing a spring thaw. Will the thaw in the weather lead to intensification of the war? We will find out soon enough. They say teamwork makes the dream work. At Gravitas, we live by this motto. We believe in scripts, not stars. We believe in stories, not stature. We value collaboration, not dictation. This is Gravitas. You're watching Gravitas. A show driven by research, not ramblings. A show driven by a team, not one individual. From the writers, to the producers, to the designers and the anchors. We have a diverse crew with diverse opinions. Gravitas, India's only show steered by a team, not a cult of personality. We are now available in your country. Download the app now, get all the news on the move.